Top Biz. Hello everyone. My name is Nehita Shukla and today I'm going to give you an overview of different classes of medical device and their risk levels. But before that, let's know about the authority that is responsible to regulate medical devices in India. CDSCO or the Central Drug Standard Control Organization is the national regulatory authority of India and is responsible for the regulation of medical devices IVDs and drugs in India. It works under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare which is regulated by the Directorate General of Health Services under the Government of India. CDSCO is also governed by the Drugs and Cosmetics Act and is known as the Central Drug Authority of India. The DCGI is the head of CDSCO responsible for regulating medical device rules and other regulations. Now, let's learn about medical device regulations in India. To improve India's drugs and medical device regulations, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare notified the Medical Device Rules 2017. As per the rules, the medical devices have been classified as classes A, B, C, and D on the basis of the risks involved with them. According to the rules, class A medical devices like thermometers, surgical dressing, alcohol swaps, tongue depressors, etc. have low level risk involved with them. Class B medical device like hypodermic needles, suction equipments, pregnancy kits, BP monitoring device, etc. have low moderate level of risk involved with them. Class C medical device like lung ventilator, bone fixation plate, pacemakers, etc. have moderate to high level of risk. And Class D medical device like cardiac patches, cardiovascular monitors, catheters, etc. have high level of risk involved. Now, let's learn about the aims of the CDSCO registration of medical devices. It's essential to get all medical devices registered with CDSCO according to the class division set up by the regulatory authorities. The objective of CDSCO registration of medical device is to get approval of new medications and clinical studies, to import permits, to get license for manufacturing medical devices, to get permit for blood bank, vaccine and medical device licensing, to make amendments in the Drugs and Cosmetic Acts and its implementing regulations, to be in compliance with WHO GMP certification schemes, to grant test license, personal license, NOCs for export, to conduct central lab testing of drugs. Now, let's talk about who all are eligible for CDSCO registration application. Importers, corporates, Indian agents, foreign corporation with an Indian subsidiary can apply for CDSCO registration. Now, let's learn about what is the procedure of registration of medical devices. First, checking whether or not the product requires registration. Second, product categorization based on risk. Third, appointment of an Indian authorized agent. Fourth, filing of technical documents. Fifth, and the last step is to obtain a registration certificate and license. In the medical field, there is always a balance between risk and benefits. In the medical device industry, the class of a medical device is used to classify how risky a device is and consequently what level of risk reduction is required. In terms of risk mitigation, a simple item like a bandage does not require much, whereas a complex medical device like a surgical laser would require significantly more. Thank you.